Welcome YouTube friends and family to the last gifts from my kitchen edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So there will be one more video in the series just talking about ways that you can package, make it look really pretty and cute, etc., etc. So what are we making today? We're going to be making some hot chocolate mix. And I received this recipe or I I downloaded this recipe. I didn't receive it. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's really early. It's like 730. This came from the farmgirlgabs.com. And they and you can also get these really cute printable tags. You do have to give the email, but I have not been spammed at all. And the tags are super cute. So let me put you down here. And if you hear this suction sound, y'all, I have bread in the bread machine. I made my maple buttermilk bread this morning because I'm going to have girls coffee and I'm bringing the treat this morning. And I dribbled some maple syrup on the floor, which I washed up, but I must have gotten it on my shoes. So just ignore the suction sounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So I have here three mason jars and I've got a Kerr, an Atlas, and a mom's mason jar. Um, so what I am going to start with is I'm going to use the dark cocoa that my friend Liz graciously picked up for me from the Amish store. Hopefully not anoint myself with cocoa. Now, one thing I will tell you about this cocoa powder, and we're putting one cup in the bottom of the jar. It's pretty fine and it's pretty floofy, but that's what I like in a hot cocoa mix. A lot of hot cocoa mix, and I did get the recipe from the same website, but I've changed it, and I will tell you how. A lot of them that call for regular granulated sugar, I don't like that because it takes forever for it to dissolve in your hot cocoa. And if you're just adding boiling water, which this is a boiling water recipe, you could add milk if you prefer. Um, you know, you're... <laughs> You're going to have gritty hot chocolate. So I'm going to open up my saved cocoa powder. And what I have done here is I just vacuum sealed the bag. Oh, can I do this without making a huge mess? I'm not super successful at that. So I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to fill my container. So you do want to start with your one cup of cocoa powder. Stay there. <laughs> Whew. Guys, this is foofing everywhere. So currently I'm just going to make three gift jars of this. If I need to do more, I did print some extra tags. It prints off six per page and I just printed it on cardstock. Worked out fine. And this is really nice dark cocoa. Really nice dark cocoa. So I was going to do a few more of the gifts from my kitchen video, but what I realized, guys, is we're, by the time you even see this one, you're gonna be like two weeks from Christmas, approximately. So, you know, I'm not going to do this clear up to Christmas because that doesn't even make sense. And I don't, I don't film very far ahead and I'm not criticizing anyone who does. They're just more organized than I am. So let me, let me get this chocolate up. Probably should not have on a pastel pink shirt when you're doing this. I put an apron on, but I don't know, y'all. I probably need more like a a full body apron <laughs> to really impact not spreading stuff everywhere. I'm just going to take a paper towel and I'm going to dust off the cocoa powder. Um, I only have one half cup measure out. So in an effort not to pollute your layers, <laughs> I'm going to just shake the jar a little bit, try to even out all the ingredients and I'm also going to dust off this funnel and using a canning funnel makes it so much easier y'all. 
All right. So to our one cup of cocoa powder, you want to add, the recipe calls for granulated sugar. I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to use powdered. I think it makes a better product. And if folks don't find it sweet enough, they could always add more. But with all the goodies we're going to add to this, I think it's going to be fine. Sometimes powdered sugar isn't quite as sweet tasting because it's light and fluffy as what uh, a granulated sugar would be. You could use coconut sugar, you know, whatever type, the cup for cup, Splenda. There, there's a lot of options for this. What's going to make this so delicious for me is that extra dark rich cocoa powder. And again, I'm just putting a cup in each. Well, maybe. <laughs> and you can sift your powdered sugar if you want. I'm not going to do that. This is fresh powdered sugar. And it's nice and light. All right. Let me sift this out of the way. Now, since this is a recipe you just add water to, we need some non-fat dry milk or dry milk of your choice. I am going to be using the Great Value Non-Fat Dry. I use a lot of this in my bread making, so I almost always have it on hand. And y'all ignore the noise in the background. That is the bread machine. So I've leveled off all of my powdered sugars and we are going to add the cup of milk Oof! and we're going to make a big foof to go with our <laughs> maple syrup on the floor so see how pretty that looks very pretty so what do you all like in your hot chocolate i'm a Peppermint or caramel are my two favorites. Did I put half a cup or a cup? I think that's a cup. Oh, y'all, I'm going to have to... No, that looks right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I can't talk and work at the same time, I guess. These jars are different diameters, and so they, they look a bit different as I'm finishing them off. All right. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I think that's really pretty. Okay, now comes the fun part. You have a bazillion choices of what you can put in it. I have here some, almost no chocolate chips. I actually have more here. I have some milk chocolate chips. I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I have some craft caramel bites. And then I also have some uh, dehydrated marshmallows. Now you don't have to use the dehydrated ones. I just have these for my cocoa bar. So I'm going to use them and they will rehydrate fine. So let's do the chips next, I think. Where did I do? Okay, here we go. So about half a cup of chips is what her recipe called for. So we're going to go with that. The only thing I really changed was the sugar. I didn't level that off so good. I'm going to do one with the semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to have all the chips, guys. what the funnel is for, Kim. <laughs> now I have to level those out a little bit. All right. And you know, since I am going to decorate these with candy canes, I'm not going to use the caramel chips. I'm going to save those for another application. So we have two semi-sweet and one milk. I can give the milk to someone who's not a big chocolate fan. Like, I'm not a big chocolate fan. 
The final thing we're going to add is our, and I keep wanting to call these mushrooms, but they're marshmallows. Now you may have to kind of pokey poke them around. I'm not finding a half cup fits in that dimension of a jar. So just what will fit. You really don't need a funnel for this part. All right, how pretty is this? Stay tuned a moment. I'm gonna clean up my work area. Then I'm gonna bring you back and show you how I plan to decorate these jars for gift giving. Stay tuned. The next thing I'm gonna do is just take some leftover Christmas fabric that I happen to have on hand. And I'm taking a bowl that's about five inches in diameter. And I am trying to kind of center it so that the little snowman is hitting on the top of the lid. But actually, guys, it, it's really not that critical. What I have here is a heat erasable pin that I use in sewing. And because this fabric is a little wrinkly, I will be ironing it and it will erase any of those marks. I'm then just going to cut it out with pinking shears because this is cotton fabric, so it will fray. It's not like it's going to get washed and worn or anything. It's more for showing. <laughs> but I think this just adds a lot, not a requirement. Certainly the gift of the hot chocolate will be enjoyed whether it's decorated fancy or not. But I'd like to give you some ideas of ways to show that you did put a lot of thought and care into your gift. So what you'll wanna do then, and y'all, I vacuum sealed, but only two of the three jars because I have a vacuum sealer failure. I swear I have appliance failure at the holidays. So, you know, the look you're going for is like this. But isn't that cute? And then it has the little snowman face on the top. So I'm going to, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm going to keep cutting. I have one more to do. I'm going to iron them real quick because that's how I roll. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish off the jar just to give you some ideas. And this would work for any canned good that you're going to gift. Stay tuned. To me, the, the funnest part of gifting is trying to make it look pretty. So I'll just share with you an example of how you might finish your jars. So I do have the fabric underneath the band. I've printed out, and again, I'll leave the link, the directions for the hot cocoa in a jar. And because I'm using like kitty colors, I actually put on here fruit colored candy canes, but you could certainly use... Um, you know, just regular peppermint candy canes. I think I'm going to do some of both. You could add some cute little stickers, which I plan to do to embellish your jar. The possibilities are really endless. I did want to share one little thing with you. If you have trouble with punching a round hole in a gift tag, they do make punches that are slots. And that's what I used. It makes a hole that looks like this a lot easier to slide your ribbon through and a lot less risk of when you try to pull it tight it's going to pop through the paper i hope you've enjoyed today's video i know it was short but you know what we're busy this time of the year so that's a good thing i hope you're taking time to make memories with your friends with your family and getting all things christmas ready to go however it is that you celebrate the holiday season if you haven't already i'd greatly appreciate it if you'd smash that like button Share the video if you know someone who needs to make some hot cocoa mix for you this holiday season. And until I see you later this week, be healthy, be well, be blessed, take care.